Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series hey, with a new guitar. Right? It's good to be back in the series and got a different guitar for you mm -hmm. guys. Um, tonight, we're going to be giving you a review on the West Creek JX50. JX50. It's uh, kind of a super strat. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna give you the specs on it. We're gonna let you hear it in a mix. We're gonna come out of that. We're gonna tell you what it costs, what it took to get it, um, how we feel about a lot of different measures on the guitar from everything from uh, quality control to playability. Um, so, what do you think about the guitar? I think it plays pretty nice. Um, so far, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with West Creek. We did the, the Revenge, mm -hmm. uh, just a video before, and uh, now we've got the JX50, and. They play really well. They do, and I think they outplay what you pay for them. Mm -hmm. And I'm basing a lot of that. This whole series, we've pretty much just ordered guitars <clears throat> off the internet. Basically, what you would have to do as a consumer without putting your hands on it. Now, we did pick up a couple of Guitar Center that we went and put hands on back at the very start to kind of get all this rolling, but about 80% of everything we've done, and I think this is our 10th, I believe so. I think so. It's our 10th guitar that we're giving away, and we did all that to try to show you ahead of time what you can expect if mm -hmm. you order one. So, um, impressed with the little guitar. Yeah. Plays really good. Um, it's got a really super thin neck, so I guess what we'll do instead of sitting here talking more about it is we'll kind of get into the specs on it, and it is a mahogany body. Yep. It's got a rosewood fretboard. And it's a maple neck, but it really looks roasted. It does look kind of roasted. Yep. Um, it plays really good straight out of the box. It needed a tiny bit of tuning. Um, we usually play everything in drop C, but because of the way they ship these guitars with the smaller strings on them, we've just we, we pretty much regulated back to drop D to play everything out of. And here in a minute, you'll get to hear it in the mix, yep. and you'll kind of see what it sounds like. There's a couple of different colors on this. There's the bumblebee, mm -hmm. which is the black and the yellow. Black and yellow. Kind of more uh, reminiscent, maybe to a certain degree, of an Eddie Van Halen years and years and years ago. A little bit. And I saw that, and I thought, well, if I'm going to get one, maybe I don't need to get that one. You I'm know? pretty sure they all look like they had the same kind of line design. They do. Though, they so, do. I mean, this there, one's a little that. different, and because we play more high-gain music, more mm -hmm. of a... A harder rock to metal style. I just figured we'd get the black one with the red. Yeah. You seem to like the red too. So Yeah, the red looks really cool. So uh, straight out of the box, the action on this is pretty good. Now mm -hmm. this does have a tremolo on it and you don't see the whammy bar on it because we usually leave those in the box. Um, and if you win this guitar, um, obviously you do whatever you want to do. We don't never put them on because we really don't use them that much because we change tuning so much. I think the tremolo on this probably needs to be set. It's probably not 100% right because you do get the action does get a little taller as it gets down around the 12th fret. Mm -hmm. Sort of like some of the other guitars that have those, you know, two-point tremolos on them. Uh, but all in all, man, this is a heck of a buy for it 200 is. bucks, man. Yeah, it, it plays great. I, like I said, I'm... I would be excited if we got another West Creek, honestly. Well, now, they, they make a lot of different ones, and this is two West Creeks back-to-back, -back, and that's the first time we've done that on these series, you know, mm -hmm. and I really don't want to keep doing that. I want to switch to a different, because we're trying to get people a overall look as opposed to going, yeah, go buy a West Creek. Yeah, that's true. You know, having a good variety is nice, but, uh, I mean... The bang for the buck here, I think, is nice. So if you don't know anything about our channel, and if you do, just hang with me a second. So what we do is we go out and we buy these guitars, like I said, and then we put them on our channel, we <laughs> review them, and then we give you guys, the consumer, a chance to win it. Uh, it don't cost you nothing. What you need to do is you need to like the video of the guitar, whichever one you're talking about. You need to share that video to a different platform and or to a YouTube platform. Mm -hmm. And you need to be subscribed to the channel when you do all three of those, you can go into the comments and you can type the word D-O-N-E, done, in the comments. That lets us know if we see done by your name that you're applying to be in the drawing. Uh, we go back and check the analytics periodically to make sure you liked, shared, and you are subscribed. And then uh, when it comes giveaway day, which you could go on our channel and see all the ones we've given away, all we do is put everybody's name in a random name generator. Uh, it's on the internet. Then we turn around and hit a button. It spins. Whoever wins it, wins it. 
The Wheel of Winners. Right. And so what's going to happen on that if you're in the continental United States? Uh, it's not going to cost you a dime. We're going to package this back up just like we got it. We're going to stick one of our Fret Knot stickers on the box. Uh, we're going to throw one in the box for you in case you want it. If you don't, throw it in trash. It's up to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to ship it to you, send you tracking. And when we when you get it, we do ask that you take a picture of you by the box with showing the sticker and then maybe just hold the guitar up and take a picture of it and we do put those on our channel so make sure you understand that if you are big on your privacy and you don't want nobody to know who you are all you have to do is cover your face put on a gorilla mask mm -hmm. put on a, a horror mask or just Something. cut it off and don't show your face i don't care but we want to see that you got the box with the sticker and that you got the guitar so um, we're basically doing this for a couple of different reasons. A, just to get you some information uh, on what's out there and what you can expect when you spend your money online. Yep. And B, we like giving away guitars. Yeah. And you know, it's never a bad thing to win a free guitar. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to shut up and we're going to go to the mix and we're going to let you hear this in the mix and then we're going to come right back we're going to talk price point how we got it what it took to get it and most importantly what our thoughts are on this guitar we'll be right back Okay, we're back. You got a chance to hear it in the mix. Mm -hmm. And I think it's hilarious that on the last two uh, Explorers, it's been your turn to play, yeah, and so I get to play the Super Strat. You're the guy on it, so <laughs> tell me what you think. <laughs> Plays really good. Um, I've never been a fan of these, tr these type of tremolos. I'm not really a fan of any tremolo because I'm constantly changing tuning. I do all kind of weird stuff, probably too eclectic to talk about, but... Um, if you keep this in a regular tuning, I mean, this little guitar, and I, I would have fell over in my tracks had I been able to get something like this when I started out. Yeah, I think I would have thought I had just gold in my right, hands if this right? was my first guitar. They play amazing compared to what the majority, if you're our age or anywhere in our age group or older, <clears throat> what you got for a couple hundred bucks when you first started playing. There's a huge difference. Yes. And uh, this little guitar right here, I wouldn't be scared to put this in rotation up on stage, put it in a tuning, you know, and I, don't, I haven't used the whammy bar on it. Um, I set a tuning on it just for that live deal, and we've both been playing it. And I think it plays really good, and I think it's well worth what you pay for it. And if it was online for more money, maybe $100, $200 more, I probably still wouldn't complain. No. Yeah. No, it, it plays that good. It does. It really does. And I I think it, it sounds really good in D. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's got uh, the strings that are on. I think they come with 1046s. So with a 46, you may not want to go too much lower than a D. Mm -hmm. You know, just for the string tension, you get a lot of you get a lot of flop in there and you might get some, you know, fret buzz. So I think in D it's good, but I mean it's the I looked at the nut on it. I don't know what material it is because they don't say. Uh, but you could you could drop these. You could put a little bit bigger string on this and mm -hmm. put this in a different tuning. And uh, I, I mean, it plays really well. It does. So all in all, we paid about two hundred dollars shipped. Now we're special, or my wife is special because she's Amazon Prime. This comes straight from Amazon. I think it was two hundred forty bucks 
And because she's prime, she got a fifty dollar coupon. So I think all in all, we got it somewhere on $190, one ninety, one ninety five, two hundred bucks. And uh, I just think that's a steal on this it really guitar. Is. Because really is. I've played a lot of two hundred dollar guitars in my life, and you might as well be playing a baseball bat. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. just they're garbage. Um, and the other West Creek, not trying to tout West Creek, but we just reviewed. It's on our channel on the West Creek on the Explorer for them to revenge. The revenge. I mean, that thing plays fantastic, and it's the same money. Mm -hmm. So if you're more into an Explorer-style look, I mean, that's a great guitar. If you're into more of the Super Strat like me, I, I'm, I tend to favor these in single cuts. Um, this is a great buy for 200 bucks. And I mean, like I said, I think you could throw this up on a rack like these in stage. Mm -hmm. And if you had a song or two you was playing, there's nothing wrong with this guitar. No. Not, not at, at all. all. Um, some of you more discerning folks, kind of getting into a weird area, you might change the pickups, but these are pretty hot. And um, maybe if you're not sitting in a studio trying to record a whole you know, CD on it or something, mm -hmm. um, I, I don't see that you need to change them. No, I think it's, uh, it's a great entry-level metal guitar. Yep. Uh, for anyone learning or, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's good. It's, like I said, I wouldn't even know what to do. I mean, I probably had over eight years, I probably had six or seven guitars before I ever got one that played right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was a fight. Yeah. You know, and when I first started playing, I'm like, you people are crazy. I can't even get a chord to sound to come out, you know. It's the guitar. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, man, we think this is a really good buy. If you don't know this about us, we're not monetized. We're nope. not... There's nobody gives us nothing. We buy all this stuff out of our own pocket to A, get you some information and B, get a chance to give away guitars. Yeah. So this is number 10 in the entry level se series and we usually only do 10. We have another series, uh, the high gain series, and we did all of these. These are custom one off from some of the best luthiers around the planet and we reviewed these. Now we didn't give these away because these are really expensive, but um, we're probably going to keep this series running for a while and uh, make sure you understand that there's three other guitars on the channel right now. And this makes four uh, that you can go in and you can do the same thing on every one. You know, once you're subscribed, you're, you're subscribed, but you can enter one time on each guitar. Mm -hmm. So all in all, I think if you've got a couple of hundred bucks and you need a guitar, man, you could do way worse than buying this one or the other West Creek. You know, the the two West Creeks have been great, but hey, if you think about it, man, at Firefly, we really haven't reviewed a bad entry level yet. No. All right, so listen, guys, we appreciate everything. We're going to get out of here. Um, we're going to leave you with a couple seconds of the unboxing of this so you can see how we got it. And until next time. Stay tuned. Thank you.